What up, YouTube? It's me, it's me, it's your favourite, Steve. Um, this is part one of my car built haul of the week. What up, YouTube? How you doing? Two car boot hauls in a row the past couple of weeks. That, that makes sense. Whatever. Um, yeah, this is the first bit. I didn't just pick up four items, but that cage takes up quite a bit of room, so I'll go into the rest of it um, in a bizzle. Um, yeah, good weekend again at the car boot. Um, went to Bognop Road. Um, saw Richard Payne there. Um, Richard saw me picking up this fire companion, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through what I paid for it, what I'm going to try and sell it for. Um, there's a few alright bits here. I, I thought it was a crap week um, at the car boot, but it's actually turned into an alright one now I've gone through it. So yeah, all right, we'll start down here. A Boppet Extreme 2. Um, I'd stop picking up Boppets. Um, I did see this Boppet. I know that Boppets go good um, at Christmas, people have told me. Um, but I had stopped picking up Boppets. Um, I had a quick look. This cost me 50p. I had a quick look at the car boot and it was like a tenner. So I was like 50p into a tenner. Why not? So yeah, this cost me 50p. You should get a tenner back on that one. It's all been tested. Check the batteries and everything. Um, up next this Fire Companion. Um, I only picked it up because they charged me a fiver. Uh, I don't... I've stopped picking up Fire Companions. I think I've got... I think this is like my fifth one that I've got in the loft. They seem to... It always seemed to be a thing back in the day when I got Fire Companions that I'd pick them up, they'd sell within, you know, you know within two two or three cycles, so, you know, two or three months. Um, but, yeah, I haven't sold one for a while, and they are starting to pile up upstairs. But, um, yeah, this one cost me a fiver. I won't pay, at the minute, I'm not going to pay any more than a fiver for a Fire Companion. I'm, I might be wrong, but I'm guessing maybe... Come winter time, Christmas time, you know, and all the posh folk around their log fire and all that crap, maybe um, fire companions will start selling again, hopefully. But yeah, that cost me a fiver. I'm going to go for 25 on that one, good to begin. Good morning. Um, up next, uh, this wrestling ring and this cage. Um, got it from the same person. Cost me a fiver altogether. Um... The wrestling ring, I made the mistake of taking all the ropes out of the wrestling ring when I was there because I just couldn't carry it around. Um, but yeah, looking it up, the bases sell for like, I've seen a base sell for like 15 quid. This is a pretty big ring, so I'm going to shoot for 15 quid with like the ropes and that all attached. The ropes do attach, but there's some weird thing you've got to do with the ropes, which I haven't got a clue, and hopefully someone who... We'll know what them doing will um, be able to fix it, but I haven't got a clue. But yeah, I'm going to go for 15 quid on that. Breaking it down cost me £2.50. And then the creme de la creme off this one. The Hell in the Cell cage. This is the first time I've had a Hell in the Cell cage. I'm really buzzing about it, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a really fun look. It's got that bit. And then there's a bit over here where... It, caves in and stuff oh my god i wish i had this when i was a kid i really do if i was a kid i had some wrestling figures I'd be like, oh my god oh my god they're going up the cage oh my god he's gone through the cage he's literally broken in there yada 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 and all that jazz i'd love it um but yeah two pound fifty uh 50 quid for this believe it or not uh i think what it is the cage has changed over the years um the cage has actually got bigger in WWE, and this is an old school cage by the looks of it. I'd love to see the red one. They used a red one last year in the wrestling. Um, but yeah, this is an old school one. Um, so yeah, £2.50, 50 quid for that one. Coming up next is some more stuff. What up, I'm back. It's the second part. Um, yeah. I'll just go into it. Uh, right, these two at the front. Now, this guy was trying to tell me that this was Ken from 1968 and he wanted eight quid for it or <coughs> something like that. He said it was from 1968. Now, 
when I looked at it, the first thing that came to my head was I thought it was the Ken from um, Toy Story. Toy Story Three, you know, with the Barbie and Ken. So that was the first thing that was going through my head. I was like, I don't think it is. And then when I looked on the back of the neck, it doesn't say Toy Story, but it well, if you can't see, it says 2009 on the back. Now I'm not sure about this one. I don't know whether it is actually Barbie. I think it, it's definitely a Barbie. Well, sorry, I'm crying at this. It's got Mattel 1999 on the back. Um, couldn't really get any gauge price on on that Barbie or whatever. Um, but the Ken, this they made um, these short Toy Story stories. Now I know about them because my kids watch them, and they they are pretty good. There's one called um. Polysaurus Rex, you know the dinosaur Rex, and he's like a Polysaurus, and he goes into the bath and he he plays with the bath toys. It's a really good episode. You should look it up. But yeah, Polysaurus Rex is really good. But there's one where Barbie and Ken go on holiday to Hawaii, and what I found out is this is Toy Story Hawaii Ken. Now in the box, Toy Story Hawaii Ken and Toy Story Hawaii Barbie can go for a couple of hundred quid now he's missing a few bits he's missing shoes he's missing like a flowery um neck thing in <laughs> uh yeah whatever you know what a wines were he's missing that um and also the barbie i'm not 100 percent you know random barbies go for like anything between a pound or a tenner so i'm gonna go for 40 quid for the two because on his own He's only sold for about 15 to 20 quid. Am I saying 40? I've said 40 for some reason. Maybe it was 30. Maybe it was 30 quid on its own. It sold for without its bits. Now I think it was 15 actually without its bits. But it was on bits. I'm just making up a price to be honest. I'm going to go for 40 with the best offer. Or maybe not a best offer. I don't know. I'll think about it when I list it, but I'm going to go for 40, those two together, because he is Hawaii Ken from Toy Story 3, and um, he seems to be pretty, you know, pretty rare, I think. Um, next, um, digging into another pile of figures, um, as I said, I'm not going to be getting any job lots, well that's what I'm thinking right now, I could completely change my mind next week, but I'm not going to be getting any job lots of figures, so you've got a Ben 10 humongous, so I'll get about 8 for him. Um, this guy I think's missing his glasses. He's from Atlantis something, one of the Disney films that I've never heard of. Um, I think I'm going for eight quid on him because he's not really listed or anything. You got a Wreck It Ralph um, in his black suit, which I think he invades one of the games on number one down here or something. That's only gone for like two ninety nine, something like that. Um, so I'm not 100%. And then you've got Hardcore Holly, which will go for about a tenner. Um, well, anyway, I've just realised I haven't done research on something. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Um, I haven't done any research on this. Um, next is this Chuggington set. Uh, now, I'd sold one of these trains last week. It was just one for eight quid. Um, and the whole set was about eight quid. Um, I'm not going to break it down. I'll sell it as... A bundle, but yeah, it cost me eight. Um, I'm gonna shoot for between 25 and 30. I'm not 100% at the minute. Um, I need to see exactly what's there and what set I've got, but it's somewhere between 25 and 30. I'm really not looking forward to setting this up. <laughs> I don't know why I do it to myself, um, but yeah, 25 to 30. And then the creme de la creme, you've probably seen him. Um, I've never got this one before, so it's one of those checking off the list um, kind of toys to sell. Um, Buzz Lightyear yeah, with the utility belt. So. Activated anti gravity servos! Good thinking, Ranger! Alright, calm down. But he seems to be working fine. Um, I don't think it's the first one I've had in a long time where the wing isn't broke. So the wings are all fine. Um, his laser doesn't work. He reacts to the laser, but his laser doesn't blink. 
um, but the lights on the wings work that works you know he's got a bit of as you can see discolor you can't really see on there but he has got a bit of discoloring on the white a few marks a few grazes on the old helmet but um yeah i'm gonna shoot for 35 on that um and well it's it's difficult because they have gone for um they've gone for good money but that it just doesn't look in the best um condition i'm gonna shoot for 35 uh, it cost me eight, so I'll be happy if I get thirty-five. But yeah, so that is the toy section and miscellaneous section of my car boot pickup. Um, so Andy, see you in my next video. Uh, coming up next is the clothing. Right, first on the clothing I got from the car boot, I've just had to chuck um, a shirt away. I picked up three. I think one of them's not actually a rugby shirt, actually. I think one of them's like a... What's the word? It's for Leicester Tigers, like a kind of branded shirt. It's not It's not a plate. It's not a top that the players would wear. That's how I'll say it. Um, these all cost me two quid. I've just chucked a Leicester Tigers one. It wasn't worth that much money, to be fair. Um, and I just looked up to it. L looked it up. I can't speak. Looked it up. Um, only about 10 or 12 quid. But it's yellow under the armpits. Now, they're from the same guy. I saw the guy at the boot. Um, they're all XXL. As you can see, the neck's a bit discoloured. I, I, really, I don't mind that. I've showed that before. Um, these don't look that bad. But the Leicester one that I just had, it was like, if you compared the white... What's my hand? If you compared the white from the arm to the chest, the arm was yellow. So um yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and sell that. But yeah, two this is a two thousand and five um England rugby top. Uh it cost me two quid. Um they sell for about fifteen. I don't know whether to go for a little bit lower than fifteen because it's just not in the best condition. Like there's a few stains along there as you can see. And up there. And it's a bit frayed. So I might just go for twelve on that. Um, but yeah, two quid into twelve. Up next is this wrestling t-shirt. Um, this is not a WWE t-shirt. Uh, it's hard to explain. I'd end up boring you with my geekiness, but there's going to be at least three geeks out there and one now. Um, but this is the Young Bucks, and it is the Bullet Club t-shirt. Now, Young Bucks aren't part of WWE. They've been part of a lot of organisations. Um... But what happened, a lot of wrestlers ended up making their own merch. So WWE does their wrestlers' merch, and they get a percentage. But the Young Bucks are kind of the, this independent tag team. Um, yeah, they're an independent tag team that don't work for WWE, so they sell their own merchandise. So this is one of their T-shirts, Young Bucks Bullet Club T-shirt. Unfortunately, the tag's been ripped out, which I'm a bit gutted about. And when I do, when I search it, they're not selling for much really. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what to go for this. I think it was two ninety nine one had sold for. I paid three quid for it. Um, I just thought there'd be more money into it, so it is a bit of a flop. But someone's going to want it. I'm going to measure it, put the measurements on um, the listing. But somebody will end up wanting it. I'm going to shoot for like you know, it cost me three, probably about seven or eight quid. But, um, yeah, it's a bit of a dud. I thought there'd be more money in it because it was an independent T-shirt, but, um, no, nah, not really. When I looked online, there's a lot of them online. But, yeah, um, three quid, I'm going to shoot for seven or eight, just to get rid. Oh, shaky hand. Uh, up next is this Versace denim skirt. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a little bit wary. I bought this from a car boot. Um, it looks pretty used. It's got... The thing that makes me think it's real is that it's got this labelling. Well, and when I do a bit more research into that label, I'm not going to get that back up. Story of my life. Um, when I do a bit more research into that label, actually, give me a sec, that's annoying me. Sorry, couldn't carry on. Sorry, couldn't carry on, it was annoying me. Um, yeah, when I do a little bit more research into that label, it seems to be a label that's inside Versace skirts. Um, I've done a lot of Google searches, looked at some. There's not a lot of listings on eBay. 
Um, looked on a few listings that are on um, Etsy, and it, they've all got that labelling saying they're Versace skirt. So I'm gonna go buy that. I'm, I don't like asking for help, but if anybody can, if anybody's ever sold Versace before, um, give me a shout just to let me know. But yeah, the prices for a denim skirt aren't that high. Um, one's gone for thirty quid. But it's it's pretty unique. It's a denim skirt, but it's got a lot of lot like, paint marks down it. Um, looks more fashionable. So I'm gonna go for twenty five quid on this. It cost me one pound seventy five because I brought another skirt with it. But yeah, um, unless somebody tells me different, I'm gonna list it and hope for the best. But yeah, one seventy five for t into twenty five. Up next, another denim skirt. This one's actually surprised me. Um, the brand is uh, a name I've never heard of, Karen Millen. Um, I said I'm learning. Uh, again, so this cost me one seventy five because it was three pound fifty with the Versace skirt. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go for about fifteen. Then very strange. I think the more unique they sell for more money. Um, that might be just a denim skirt thing or the name, I don't know, I'm learning. Um, but yeah, £1.75, I'm going to shoot for 15 on this one. Up next is this Vajella, I think that's how you say it. Vajella um, blazer, navy blue, kind of, I don't know, what would you put in there? Military, navy kind of thing? As you can see, it's not, it's a bit bitty. To say the least, um, this cost me 50p. It was lying on the floor somewhere in a car boot somewhere. Um, not a car boot, you know, on the floor next to a car somewhere, for God's sake. Oh, I cannot speak for some reason. Anyway, 50p. Um, about 15. When I looked it up, navy blue, navy blue, vi yellow blazers, about 15. So yeah, I should get about 15 back on that. But it's not in the best condition. Um, I have sold vi yellow before. But yeah, it's just not in a fantastic condition. But yeah, 50p into 15, Carmone. And then last but not least, oops, um, Bernadette's lost her head. Keeps falling out. Anyway, last but not least, is this, is it St. Bernard, St. Bernard, whatever, velvet collection coat. Um, now I thought this looked pretty good condition. Um, now I've got it home. I don't, this is the problem, this is the problem with car boot. Because you're rushing around, I feel like I'm rushing around at a car boot trying to get to the next stall and trying to get round. But there's all, like, for some reason, white paint all the way up the inside of this. Which is a pain in the ass. Probably a painter's jacket, you know, it looks like something like that, I don't know. It's got all white paint all up the front of it, all up the inside. Um... It cost me three uh, when I've searched St. Bernard Velvet Collection um, jacket. One's gone for like a tenner, I think. Something like that. Wait a minute. I should have stuck a red back on while I was off. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they've gone, gone for ten. Uh, there's a coat that's listed for 75, but it looks brand new. Um, so I'm not going to go for 75, seeing as one's only sold for 10. But yeah, it, because of... Look, there's a bit of a pull there. Look at that, if you look close. It's very... Look, I don't I don't know whether that's dust. Or it's pulls. I don't think it's pulls. I think it's just dust. But yeah. It just look yeah. But yeah, uh, that cost me about 3. I'm going to go for 15 because of the paint marks. But as I said, one's only a jacket sold for 10. But... I'm going to try and aim for like a, you know, say it's a coat, so it's bigger than a jacket, I don't know. So I don't know what I'm talking about yet. But yeah, £3, I'm going to go for 15 Yeah. Unless someone starts screaming at me, aka Carla, saying, what are you doing? You're underpricing shit. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that was my own car boot haul from Sunday, um, Bognot Road. Really happy with it. Not so much for the clothing, but definitely happy with the um, the loft bits. 
that I've picked up, you know, the cage, the Buzz Lightyear, the Ken and the um, brown haired Barbie and all that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I've got th three hauls beyond the city I need to get through. So I'm sure I'll do a video at some point. But for now, peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.